What does the song mean to you? So for me, when I was just, I was about everybody here's age, I think, um, I started comparing my body to all the bodies I was seeing all around billboards and, and posters in this mall right now, and I didn't have much access to diversity and different body types, so I started thinking I needed to be just like the models that I saw and the one body type that I saw. And it drove me crazy and it gave me some really, really dark issues and I started not really seeing who I what I really looked like in the mirror or feeling any love from within. And uh, I get from the kid I babysit and from, and from people every day on social media, I get that people are getting bullied, moms reaching out saying, my daughter thinks she's fat, this, and, and, and it, for the first time in my life, even though I don't feel super hot right now, I felt a little sisterly, uh, a little sisterly obligation to write a song about it and hope, fingers crossed, that you guys are really, really paying attention and that you don't compare yourself to anybody but you and you are so, so, so beautiful in your own skin. So. It's such an important message for all ages, really. Um, not even out of Chelsea, because I'm obsessed with her. Oh, yeah. I'm obsessed with Chelsea. What was her first reaction when she heard the song? Uh, she's, she, uh, she always initially rolls her eyes at me. Like, you know, like when your mom tells you you're beautiful, you're like, whatever, you're supposed to tell me you're beautiful, whatever. And then she, I think she takes me a little more seriously than her mom. Still a babysitter, but not a mom, right? So she liked it, she laughed. She loves when I say boobs, so. <laughs> Also, your song, Like My Father, The Biggest Tearjerker. Oh, thank so, you. So, your parents are gold. Thank you. You know what's great? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, my mom and dad would say hi. They've never been to uh, the Bay Area, and so everyone say hi to my mom and dad. They will say, yeah, they're not here. <laughs> they're watching on a live stream. And this outfit, right, is... Yeah, this is my dad. So, my dad was a, a New York City firefighter. And he retired after 9-11 because he got injured that day and on the job. And then he was going through his stuff um, recently because they were moving out of their house. And he found their old uniform. So I'm wearing my dad's actual fire department uniform. Like, how crazy is that? I know. So dope. Uh, I it is feel it. Feel back, like a dad. <laughs> it is back to school season. If you could give one piece of advice for someone for their first day of school, what would you say? First day of school, I would say... Dress as comfy as you could possibly dress. Yeah, <laughs> and then you can only like build it up from there. You always think about like when you dress up for school, your first day is like your big shining moment. And then you get like lazier and lazier. And then by the end of the year, you're in pajamas. <laughs> Start in pajamas. <laughs> Excellent advice. Yeah. Every day is pajama day. <laughs> Every day is pajama day for me. I'm okay, like, now we're excited to see Jax perform, but real quick, we are picking a winner for our Chromebook laptop. Jax, I feel like you should do that. What's in the box? Yeah, we'll do that. Well, drum rolls in the box, box. I'm not going to right now. Who is it? Who is it? Ethan Lumba? Ethan? Or Lumba? Lumba? Ethan, where you at? Where you at? I'm going to call it Lumba like a Roomba. Lumba. Hey! Ethan! Hey! Where is he? Oh my god, guys, this is Ethan. Be careful, don't trip. Everyone say hi to Ethan. five people coming today <laughs> and this is actually the craziest thing in the world there's a little girl on her dad's shoulders right now that i'm looking at i don't think she's even here <laughs> oh she got i gotta leave hi everyone thank you for coming out this is like the coolest thing ever um i'm from the east coast so this is actually shocking to me and um i know nothing about the bay area so i'm gonna need some uh food recommendations after this i just ate buffalo wild wings <laughs> to play it safe <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm going to start with a song that I wrote about my mom and dad. It's a really special song to me. Um, it was like the quickest song I ever wrote because I basically just had to make my parents' goofy love story rhyme. It's called Like My Father, and I am wearing my dad's clothes while I sing it. <laughs>
TikTok and all the craziness uh, and all the new music. So this is I get to see people that know the song. <laughs> and, I don't know. Now I'm being awkward. Uh, should we? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you guys? Who's on TikTok? Is anyone like actually on TikTok here? So do you guys know that trend with the song Teenage Dirtbag? That's a crazy one, right? Where you like do the Teenage Dirtbags. Um, so I figured we'd do Teenage Dirtbag today from Noelle's point of view, like the girl named Noelle. Are you guys cool with that? Yeah. Yeah. She rock out a tiny bit. Yeah, I, I gotta channel Noelle right now. Shoes. My name is Noelle. In gym class I mostly duck and I kinda smell. Puberty really sucks. I like this one guy, but he's pretty shy. He doesn't know who I am And he doesn't give a damn about me Cause I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby Yeah, I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby Listen to Iron Maiden, baby, with me Oh My 
boyfriend's a He drives his dad's Ferrari He likes to mix Gatorade and Bacardi Prom king and queen But that doesn't mean That he really knows who I am sit or stand now. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. <laughs> you guys, they made me a sign over here. It's Dylan Cadence and, and Charlie or Charlotte, these girls over here. They stayed here like since the morning and hung out until I came up, put some deodorant on <laughs> just to see you guys. I brushed my teeth even without the water, like with the water bottle. Anyway, <laughs> I have one more song for you guys. It's, it's a song called Wonder, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Imagine just Wonderwall instead of Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Um, should we play Victoria's Secret? Yeah! It's a song I wrote. This is the song I'm talking about right now. And um, yeah, I hope you guys, when you hear it, you want to rock out and actually get angry with me because there are some really rich people out there that like, they came for our brains and they came for our hearts and this is our moment to say, Foo you. This is Victoria's Secret. <laughs> I'm deciding whether or not I want to stand up. Do I stand up or I play piano? Wait, all in favor, or play piano. All in favor, stand up. Oh, okay. <laughs> the call is made. God, I wish somebody would have told me when I was younger that all bodies aren't the same. Photoshop, bitty bitty models on magazine covers told me I was overweight. Stop eating, what a bummer Can't have carbs and a hot girl summer If I could go back and tell myself when I would What we say? I'd say I know Victoria's secret And girl, you wouldn't believe She's an old man who lives in Ohio Making money off of girls like me Cashing in on party issues Selling skin and bones with big boobs I know Victoria's secret Somebody would have told me that thighs of thunder meant normal human thighs and all the pressure I was under to lose my appetite and fight the cellulite with hunger games like every night. If I could go back and tell myself when I was younger, I'd say, hey, dummy, I know Victoria's secret. I was 
Making money off my toes like me Crashing in nobody's shoes Selling skin and bones with big boobs I know Victoria's secret She was never made for me and you